All right, Flow Track here, the day two morning session. It's already complete here at the Olympic Games, and we saw a lot happen. We saw our first repechage rounds of the games. We saw Noah Lyles step on the track for the first time. So let's go through some of the top storylines that we saw take place here in Paris. Let's begin first with those repechage rounds. We saw the women's 800 meters take place in those rounds. Again, this is the first time we've ever seen this in the Olympics. And we saw some crazy races again. Only the top finisher from every heat advance plus the next two fastest times. And unfortunately, the biggest storyline there is Allie Wilson, the American, just misses out on advancing to the semifinals. She missed the time qualification by 0.08 seconds, which was so close. Next, we saw the men's pole vault qualification. And unfortunately, some big storylines out of there, some bad ones for the US. Chris Nielsen, who won the silver medal at the Tokyo Olympics in the men's pole vault, does not qualify to the final. He didn't even clear his second bar at 5.6. He only clears 5.40, and he does not advance. Afterwards to the press, Chris said that, you know, hey, it's a hard sport. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And, you know, unfortunately, he will not be able to defend his silver medal in the pole vault. Of the U.S. men's pole vault contingent, only Sam Kendricks will advance. Jacob Wooden also went out. So we will have one male from the U.S. looking to win a medal in the final there for the men's pole vault. And lastly, I think the, the races we were all looking forward to here in this morning session was that first round of the men's 100. So many heavy hitters. I mean, the men's 100 this year is so competitive for those medals. And we saw those big stars get in the blocks the first time. I think the biggest storyline coming out of this, though, has to be Noah Lyles. He did not win his heat. It was actually Louis Hinchliffe of Great Britain, the NCAA champion out of Houston, who took him down. He ran 998, Noah Lyles ran 1004. And afterwards to the media, Noah Lyles didn't seem super concerned about getting second. You know, he told the media that, hey, I think a lot of these guys maybe were just using us as <laughs> their one shot to beat me at the Olympics, which, I mean, that speaks maybe a little bit of confidence, a little bit of cockiness, but Nonetheless, he doesn't seem too concerned. You know, the big names coming out of it too as well. Kenny Benarik and Fred Curley both go 9.97, the fastest times of the rounds to advance on. They looked really smooth along with other athletes like Latil Taboga, Fernando Manyala. So overall, all the top guys go through. And now I think really the question is, honestly for Noah Lyles, like if you finish second in your first round heat, how do you bounce back going into the semis tomorrow and then into the finals? Overall, I think today we learned that it's gonna be a very competitive 100 here at the Olympic Games.